It's time for another Tuesday's Tech Tip, from Active Datacom. This week, we will very briefly touch on the major streaming services and offer some general comparisons. The increasing availability of broadband internet access along with the rising costs of cable and satellite services have led many to abandon or augment their traditional media providers in favor of internet-based streaming services. There are a number of obvious advantages, such as a lower cost, often a fraction of that of traditional providers, on-demand availability of content, and the use of multiple devices other than televisions, for consuming the content, especially portable devices such as notebooks, tablets, and mobile phones. For those users with patience and no desire to own discs of movies or television shows, the costs of buying or renting discs become unnecessary, as a single disc usually costs more than a month or two of streaming service. Most streaming services also allow the viewing of media on two or more devices simultaneously, so one account can support different users watching different content at the same time. There are some disadvantages as well of course, such as limited selection, which could mean that no single service meets a particular user's needs on its own. There are also movies and television shows that are simply not available on any streaming service and may never be. The ever-evolving landscape of copyrights, licensing, and competition can also make a services selection unpredictable, as titles may become unavailable at any time due to disputes between the service and content providers. Further since these services require some level of broadband internet access the lower cost of the service may be offset by the cost of internet access for users who do not already have it. The three most popular streaming services at this time are Netflix, Hulu Plus, and Amazon Prime. Netflix was founded in 1997 and certainly benefited from experience navigating copyright and licenses for its DVDs by mail service when it launched its streaming service in 2007. With an enormous selection of movies and television episodes, a polished interface and a well-established user base and reputation, Netflix is easily the most popular service even having eclipsed a major US cable provider in number of subscribers. Netflix also currently enjoys the largest number of devices that can support the service including internet-capable TVs, set-top boxes, and portable devices. The most common criticism of Netflix is the delay or absence of new releases with respect to to the streaming offerings. Hulu started in 2007 as a free, advertising-funded online streaming site for the television shows of several large media companies that came together to create the site. NBC and ABC Disney, in particular, brought a considerable amount of popular content to the service. In 2010, Hulu launched Hulu Plus, which offered subscribers access to many more episodes of many more shows. Hulu Plus is supported on a very wide range of devices and is steadily growing in popularity. The most frequent criticism of Hulu Plus is the presence of advertising, like that of the free service inserted into the content, despite being served to users who have paid a subscription fee. Amazon.com, founded in 1994, has evolved from a simple online bookstore to a media and commerce juggernaut. In 2011, Amazon expanded their already popular Amazon Prime program benefits to include streaming content. Though the newcomer by far, Amazon's deep connections to content providers along with the enormous Amazon Prime user base suggest that Amazon will continue to add more titles at a considerable pace. Amazon Prime subscribers receive free, two-day shipping, and discounted rates on other shipping speeds on items purchased on Amazon.com, which along with the low price, currently the lowest of all major streaming services, has resulted in a user base growing very quickly. The most common criticism is the lack of selection relative to the other services. Here is a side-by-side comparison of these services as of May of 2011. All of the numbers are approximations based on the claims of the providers and certainly subject to rapid change. Streaming services are certainly not equivalent to cable, satellite, or other traditional or legacy services, but for many users, they are an enjoyable addition to them, or even an acceptable replacement for them entirely. 
This has been another Tuesday's Tech Tip from Active Datacom. Thank you for watching, and if you ever need help with your computer, network website, or any IT issues, just call click or come by. Call us toll free at 1-877-55-FIXIT, visit us online at www.callactive.com or stop by at 1203 Nell Street in Hupelo, Mississippi.